Hello, good morning everybody. Today we are doing um, a wood click installation. Um, very easy to do, probably most easy of all floors to install. Um, we're doing this loft above the garage and this is the material and carpet everywhere and the best is already getting started. So that's what we're doing today. So the first thing we're going to do to get started on this, this loft area um, above this garage is we're going to get rid of the existing floor, which is the soft floor, which is carpet and pad and tack strips and all that kind of stuff. Um, so we can prep the floor and then we're going to, once we get all that stuff, we look at the floor and make sure that there's nothing wrong with the floor underneath the carpet. Um, there's that square that you see where the carpet pad is. That's actually an outlet that um, the customer got installed. And so we're gonna basically work around that little space where we cut our material so that the, the plate can go back on top of it. Um, so we're just doing the thing. Like I always tell you um, to do is when you're taking up carpet is to make it manageable. Um, and basically because it's a it's a, in a in a single family home, I just threw the material out the window in the yard. Um, so you got to be careful. Always look because you don't want to throw carpet or any kind of thing outside a window onto either an individual, a pet, or some plants. And so, and you want to throw it out a certain way. You don't want to damage the yard either. Um, so yeah, we got the carpet packed this up. Um, now we're putting an underlayment down, and this is for muffler. Um, this red stuff you get at um, Home Depot, but you can get the same for muffler at different locations and different colors, depending on um, who's selling it. Like, I think the lumber liquidator, I think theirs is um, like a green like a color. Same product, they just, you know, they just prioritize it for the most part. Um, putting the, the material on the ground just so it'll be closer to where we're installing it um, the packs of it this particular stuff it, um, it's already cut into random lengths well it's basically four different sizes it's like a long one which is about maybe four feet and then you have a three quarters one a half one and then you have one that's not quite a little bigger than a quarter um, and so those are the three three pieces that you get already so we don't have to do like we normally do when we do laminate and vinyl um, how we'll, we'll cut like starter one so we just use what we have we use the long one the half the medium etc um, because this floor goes down so good you don't actually need tapping blocks or anything um, for most of it just some special situation where you need the tapping um, block and um, a hammer to, to, to knock it together. But overall, this floor pretty much just falls down. And this is a is what you call an engineered wood product, um, which, which is but it's interlocking. And you see how we just just it just falls right down. It's like easy, no hitting, no tapping, no adjusting. It kind of goes down really easy. Um, this particular job was a little over 500 square feet um, and it took us a couple of hours to do this job as you can see I mean well of course I got it speeded up here but this job was really really easy job easy um, and with with materials like even like less like laminate you try to keep your joints a certain space from each other um, just to make it look like more like a like an unfinished wood floor job and so what we're doing there is just making sure the pieces don't, aren't too close and etc and we're getting it done so actually this is probably half of the the job right here and we're we're done for the most part, we're doing it. Um, well, Odessa's gonna start doing the trim. I'm gonna move some stuff over. I'm gonna do a couple special cuts around the door frame, and we're gonna get it 
it moving. Um, and it's just doing the molding. And this molding, she's cutting. This is um, a prime um, pine molding, white molding quarter round. And it's, you can cut it with the snips. So we have a, a little miter scissors that you can cut with. And after she's cutting it, she's cutting those pieces, she's putting them in, knowing them, and then she's gonna caulk it. It's caulking, caulking the nail hole. There's the other half, well, not even half, a little less than half of the area. We're gonna move the furniture over, move a little bit of stuff that was in there. I make some sliders. Sometimes when you use carpet instead of buying sliders, you just cut the carpet and flip it like into little little pieces, and you just put it under the furniture and just slide it over your new floor. That's what I did in this particular case. Taking the rest of the carpet pad, carpet up, pulling it out the window. Sweep it up. Put some more of that floor buffer down. Whenever you're doing a, a floating floor, um, especially laminates and like laminate and um, hardwood, you always have to put a, 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 a underlayment under it. Um, some laminate already has it attached, and then vinyl plank is the same. Most vinyl plank have a uh, um, um, underlayment under attached to it so but in this particular case most engineer floors they don't have it attached so that's why you have to put it and what a floor muffler does when you stand on it it actually when you walk over the floor it sounds like you're walking on a solid wood floor so it makes that kind of sound when you're walking on it and we can take some of our seams our joint sleeve seams don't really have to do it when you're not in the on a basement level. Uh, when you're on a basement level, you definitely have to tape everything up because you don't want any moisture coming from the con concrete going into your pool. And as always, we do we do pretty good teamwork um, while we're doing it. So. You see, this room is almost completed, and Odessa's knocking it out. And I'm over there by the by the by the door, going downstairs from the loft, trying to do these special cuts right there. Um, so that's what's going on there. And I'm cutting, marking, and cutting our, our rip part on top and cutting around this register. What I like to do when I'm when I'm working is I like to make sure I have um, I'm doing multiple things. So I try to be as efficient as we can be um, as far as you know going back and forth up and down stairs. So when I cut like cut pieces I make sure I take as many cut pieces I can take that I have to cut at one time. So uh, like I would take um, some pieces from the door I'm at, and then I'll also take some pieces up there where Odessa is, that Odessa is, so I can make sure um, I make the best of my my efforts. Cause I mean, it's basically working smarter and not harder. Cause you don't want to do each piece once, one by one. So I'm, you see I'm putting one piece up and then I'm doing this. Anytime I have to do a cut, I'm I'm gonna take more than one piece. Because you don't want to keep going up and down the stairs. So this is marking for another register. Getting this cut. I'm marking the finishing off, I'm doing another register, helping her do that register. And then of course I went downstairs. Because I had a, another special piece I had to cut. Basically, whenever we're, we're moving, if we have to go downstairs or something, we're either taking something or bringing something back. Um, just make sure we don't be running up and down, running up and down stairs. Just 
burning energy. So like I said, this is a job that normally, uh, it's a, probably a two-man crew. This can, can, this will probably take somebody even two days to do it. Um, if they don't, if they're not being wise and doing stuff uh, any kind of way, basically. And there we're using that cutter right there is a, a Magnum um, from Bullet Tools cutter. It's a laminate cutter, and um, we use it for LVP. And of course, we're using it for this engineer wood. There's some some materials you can't use these cutters with, like. Um, for example, you can't use it for um, any kind of bamboo. Bamboo is super tough. It'll mess your, it'll crack your blades actually. But this stuff is good for it. And we're just, just cutting them and putting the pieces. And look at that. Cleaning up a little. Tape in. Continuing. is done at that point. Now it's a matter of doing it, finishing the trim, the transition pieces, cleaning up, clean, you know, clean up the yard, put the carpet, and the carpet out. And look at that's what she's knocking that, molding out. Knocking it out, knocking it out, knocking it out. Yeah, so we're cleaning up. Odessa's cleaning up. She's done all the molding. It's looking good. It's normal. And yeah, I'm taking some materials, some not materials, but some of our tools downstairs. Coming back to take some more stuff downstairs. But you see the baseboard and the, the quarter round is looking really spot on. I mean, this is a totally different area. Um, than what it used to be. The customer is extreme, was extremely happy. Um, and it took us a couple hours to do this. A couple hours. Let me show you um, the kind of room. Before we put the furniture back in where it's supposed to go. See the transition piece between the bathroom and we got this transition piece right here at the door. 